my yoga weight is cut into nice little strips like so to encourage pronation and supination. The pronation wedging looks like this. First of all, one coming in the back, which is gonna encourage the heel to roll. So we took it like this. We put our heel maybe an inch up the block. And then we went through the, uh, the pronation exercise. We just allowed our foot to soften, came forwards, came back and got a sensation of what that felt like. Uh, if you want to, to play around with opposing it, you just take the other wedge and place it just up to where the metatarsal heads are on the other one. Try and get a slightly wider wedge than this. And then you've got the two working, so you've got kind of a hammock for the foot to drop into there. Go into it very somatically, don't go into any discomfort. When you've done four or five of them, have a walk, see how it feels. The other places, we could place the heel so the wedge comes in on the outside. So now we're looking at creating E version through the calcaneus through the heel bone. Same thing, very gently allow the weight to transfer, all the same cues as before, pelvis moves forward, ribs head on top, and just allow that heel bone to experience that sense of E version. The opposite to that, we stick it under the forefoot. So from the other side, ball of big toe, Again, maybe a third of uh, the distance into the foot, and then the same thing. Just allowing the weight to go a little bit more into the big toe now. And you'll feel it gives you a little more sense of pronation, that tail is starting to rotate. In. Then we can combine the two, one at the back to create eversion, one at the front so the forefoot can oppose. And again, just allow the foot to squelch and adapt to the levers underneath. Just like walking on the beach on the pebbles, um, we're just giving your whole body an experience all the way up through the tibia, through the femur. Um, five or six of those, go for a walk.